ready for it. <laughs> See you later. And we're now going to get stuck behind a tractor, and that's one of the things about living in the country. <laughs> I'm ready for respect time, that's what I'm talking about. I started high school, and my first day there, I got picked on, and I wasn't really happy about it. But then I got into school, and I enjoyed it. I grew up with just me and my mum, and my mum taught me to just respect other people. Right, and then I just picked up on the word respect, and I thought, you know what, I can do something with this word. Respect. Fantastic. I'm excited, I like young people. And it's nice when I see that I'm reaching them. We can read anywhere. They're gonna be the next generation. They're gonna be influencing different people. Words, exercise. They call me the voice. I use my voice to inspire people by doing various events, big corporations. You know, I've done different things where I've been around celebrities and some of the people are a bit fickle, if you like. Whereas this, it's rewarding. I, I really feel I'm giving something back. You're doing it and you've got a beautiful one. What's... Come on down, give her a round of applause. Put that on there. Look at Chloe's beautiful. I think sometimes you, you're given talents and I think you should use your talents wisely. If I can plant a seed in one person, it's been, it's been worth it. Take break. Respect. See you later. Um, I really enjoyed it, it was a nice class. I'm tired though. <laughs> I actually grew up in a city, but I love being outside. My wife, she introduced me to this area. We always come for walks because it's so nice and, and it's green. It's nice to go to do things as a family. Enjoy the beauty around you. It doesn't cost anything. I do walks with a group of women. We walk for about eight miles every Wednesday. And they get lost. We get lost Several regularly. Several times, yeah. Especially in the dark. Calls, she's lost. <laughs> Don't know where I am. <laughs> Hi, Mum. How are you? <laughs> My mum gave up a lot for me. She came from Jamaica, she came over in the 50s. She's always been there. Everything she's done is for me and I owe her an awful lot. It doesn't matter what age you got, you can still make your mum proud. I can't believe my mum's got it in, 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 in the hallway. He didn't want me and to there pick it up, so it's not my fault. There I was, see, I used to have hair, and I was Michael Jackson, the Michael Jackson curl. That was me back in the day, who's bad? <laughs> My mum did an awful lot for me. I know she sacrificed a lot and she gave Don't up a lot. Don't do that to me. Okay. I did not sacrifice. Yes. No. You do what a mother should. Mother. Well, that's right? it. Well, you're right. And that's, that's he, he never thing. made me feel as though I'm sacrificing anything because I'm so pleased and happy and proud of him that it's not a sacrifice. <laughs> she taught me to believe in myself and also always respect other people. You can do anything, you can do anything if you just have a positive attitude about yourself. I teach respect, but respect is an important value of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. My philosophy in life is to try and make a difference if I can. I'm a husband, I'm a father, I'm a son, I love my mum. My passion is motivating people. My name is Paul Slee and I'm a Mormon.